Hi everyone, welcome back. Today I'm going to talk to you about creating a two-level menu toolbar. Okay, so this is my, I'm in Unity and um, this is my game and I'll play it here. So this is the Planet Garden app, which I'm developing. So if I play it, uh, you can see that I've got one toolbar up here, which has three different items, a select, an orbit and an edit. And you can see as I select the different items, they gray out um, the, the other items. So that's orbit and that's edit. Edit is different because it's, when you click on it, it actually presents this uh, second level uh, toolbar below it. Okay. And when, and if we can similarly select different items there. And if I go back to say the select or the orbit, it then disappears. Okay, so how do I do that? I stop the game and let's go back to the scene view here. Okay, so let's have a look at our, our, our objects. Okay, so we have um, a UI canvas here and that's our parent. And we've got these two panels, okay? The top toolbar and the, the lower, what I call the toolbar edit, okay? So let's have a look at the toolbar top. Okay, so that's there. I'm looking at it in 2D mode. Um, it's got, it's a, a panel and it's got three different uh, UI images um, added to it. Okay. So the first one I've renamed it to select. Uh, it has uh, an icon that I created in, um, in Illustrator. I brought in as 100 by 100. It's, it's uh, size in Unity is 32 by 32. I'm a bit un, uns, unsure yet as to does that cause a bit of degradation of quality? Maybe it should have been brought in as 32 by 32 uh, UI sprite, but um, it seems to work pretty well. Okay, but I, I could change it to bring in as 32 by 32. Um, the so they're all the same. They're all images. The other thing to say about them is uh, I've added this custom this script that I wrote this garden toolbar item. And it's got a couple of uh, values there that um, I'll go through in a moment. The second toolbar uh, uh, panel is, is here. And you can see it's actually invisible at the moment. And the way you do that is you add a canvas group uh, component and you set its alpha value to zero. So if I set it to one, it'll become visible. If I set it to uh, 0 0.5 float, it'll become half transparent. So let's go back to uh, zero, setting it back to zero. And it's got the same, these these items here. Now, the only the only thing to say is, uh, actually, no, I'll go, I'll go through that in a moment. But they are effectively the same. They just have their, their images and they've got this uh, garden toolbar item script attached to it. So let's have a look at those scripts. So here I am in Visual Studio Code, um, and here's my toolbar item class, okay? It's subclass of mono behavior and it implements the eye pointer click handler, which I'll get to in a second. These are the variables uh, it exposes in the inspector. The first is the tool type, okay? And that is uh, one of, it's taken from an enumeration, okay? Garden engine tool, okay? That is defined in garden engine. This is a static class, okay? Which basically, static class is a great way of making enumerations, variables that you're going to be using across the project, making them available globally to, to all your scripts, okay? So you can see here, I have a garden engine game state, game state enum and garden engine tool enum, okay? And they are the actual values that appear in the inspector because you can see in the toolbar item class, I've defined that as the type and then in um, Unity, you can see here the tool type, they're all just listed there, which is nice because they're printed as, as uh, human readable text. Okay, so the next one is the menu level. I've got a two level system. So for all my top level guys, their uh, menu level is zero. Okay, and for all the sub levels, um, one level down, their menu level is one and so on and so on. Okay, I'll explain why that's important in a second. And then this is final one is active. That's basically turns on when it's active. Um, it, it's false. It's false when it's not active and it's true when it is active. And it's important because I want the select uh, item to be active at the beginning. So I select is active equals true. All the other ones are false. Okay. 
So in the start uh, function, which is the first function that's called, I want to get the image, I want to get a reference to the image uh, component of the, this particular uh, toolbar item. So I, uh, I call that and um, the reason I want to do that is because I want to be able to gray it out or make it um, fully black. And the way I do that is I set its color value to either a uh, all white with um, 100 value for the alpha or I set it if it is active I set it to um, all white with 100% um, alpha or one for the alpha okay or 255 because it's uh, 0 to 255 that's the range the final thing is if the menu level is zero i.e the top level menu I want to call on pointer click uh, if it's active okay and so what that is what on pointer click is on pointer click is you implement it it's part of this i pointer click handler interface um, and you implement it if you want to get click events for ui elements so it's uh, it's handy okay so in on pointer click i set the is active equal to true and you see in a moment that there is actually a bug i should what I should also do is then set all the other menu item or all the other toolbar items in on this menu level to false, but I don't, I should do that. Um, and then I, I also set this value, this global value, which is stored in garden engine, the selected tool is the, the current tool type. And then I do a switch to look at the tool type. So if it's edit, select orbit or so on, if it's edit, I set this, the game state, another global variable to edit. And I also set this canvas group. Do you remember the canvas group? This is, uh, this is retrieved, this component reference is retrieved in Garden Engine when it's loaded up. And I set its alpha value to one because in the edit mode, I want the second level toolbar to be visible. Otherwise, I don't, I want it to be invisible. So I set its alpha to zero for select and orbit, okay? So the final thing then to say is that um, I need to loop through all, so I've uh, in um, garden engine, our static global class, uh, I when it loads up, I get a reference to all the different toolbar items, all whatever, seven and eight of them, or nine of them even. Um, and I loop through, I check, is this the toolbar item that I'm looking at, is it on the same, menu level because I only want to affect if I click on one I only want to change the opacity of the other ones on that level so then I set their values uh, to um, uh, 100 alpha and then finally I set the uh, the current the active one to uh, fully opaque and that's it and just I'll run it again and you can see it starts off, this is the active one, uh, is active is true. And you can see there, if I click to this one, this should have actually gone to, uh, to false. That's where the bug is. But orbit has gone to true. They'll all eventually go to true when they go true. Um, and then I click on the edit and that appears and I can do the same on this level and it only affects this second level. So that's it.